Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. All right, we're in Acts chapter 10. We're going to start in verse 15. If you have your Bibles, thanks for being with me today. Acts chapter 10, verse 15, as we get a couple minutes in God's Word. I'm going to go ahead and pray, and we'll get into the Word for today. Father, thank you so much for the Scripture. Help us, Father, when you speak to us to be all in with what you call us to do. Help us to be paying attention to what your Spirit has to say. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, the Bible says in verse 15, and the voice came to him again a second time, what God has made clean, do not call common. This happened three times and the thing was taken up at once to heaven. You know, I was watching a football game um, a couple of days ago and a really, really important play, you know, third down and lots to go and um, close to the end zone. I think it was a red zone play. And so uh, it was kind of a wheel route that the running back was running out on. And so quarterback drops back, um, guys like just wide open, right? Wide open, straight path to the end zone. And the quarterback throws the ball. And the problem was that the receiver, the running back, he had run the wheel route, but for some reason, he never looked back for the ball. And so the ball literally hit him in the helmet and bounced off of his head. And um, I mean, I have embarrassing moments, but thankfully they're not seen by millions of people on television. But clearly he wasn't, he wasn't paying attention, right? I mean, he wasn't, he had done some of the things right, but he wasn't putting himself in a position to make the reception, you know, and ultimately to score the points. Um, and you, you're like, well, what does it have to do with anything in the Bible? Well, what I appreciate about Peter in this story is Peter put himself in a position where he was able to receive what it was that God was speaking. And what God was speaking to him was not easy. And you can read the story later on your own. But kind of, you know, where we're at is God has touched Cornelius's heart, the centurion that's in Caesarea um, by the sea. He is a God-fearing man, but God is going to reveal to him Jesus, uh, his son. And, you know, while the angel's speaking to Cornelius, Peter is in Joppa, a day's journey, if you're walking, about, you know, some 30 miles south. And he's having a vision. And the vision is of this sheet with all sorts of clean and unclean animals on it. And there's a voice that comes from heaven, rise, Peter, kill and eat. And Peter, good, kosher, Jewish man's like, no, I can't do that. Like, I, I can't do that because, you know, there are things on the sheet that are forbidden for me to eat. Well, the sheet's lowered multiple times. And as it's lowered multiple times and as God is speaking, Peter is starting to realize that it's the Lord, right? It's the Lord. He's putting himself in a, and this is really a big deal because what God's going to call him to, to do ultimately was super unconventional for, for um, a man who was Jewish to do at the time. There were man-made rules that he was going to have to step over to be obedient to God. All that had to happen and all that did ultimately happen with the gospel formally going to the Gentiles. All of it began with Peter putting himself in a place where he was, he was able to receive uh, the message that God had for him. And I think, listen, I know that you want that. You have to want that, right? You want to be living in a place where, you know, you are looking to receive God's word in your heart every day. You want to be led and directed by the Lord. You don't want to hear about stories about how other people are experiencing God. You want to have your own experience with God. I know that's true for me. You know, it's, it's like today, God, speak to me. Speak to me. How can we put ourselves in a place where we are ready to receive what God has for us? Well, I, I think, number one, it's an anticipation, right? It's an anticipation. If Peter was living his life in a way where he was just kind of dead to the reality that God wanted to speak to him, he would, have, he would never be turning his head towards God. There are a lot of Christians who live their life like this. You know, they've got Christianity. They've got their, you know, ticket to heaven. But they really fundamentally are living their life like they used to live it 
uh, without the Lord every single day, there might be some moral change, right? There might be some decisions they've made that align themselves with what God's moral desires are. And they go to church once a week. But listen, they're not living with an anticipation to really hear God on a daily basis. Number one, I just want to encourage you. And the fact that you're, you're like leaning into devotions really shows that you do have that heart. You know, put yourself in a place where you are anticipating God to speak. And then, and the second thing is this, um, be sensitive to it and recognize, recognize the patterns that God lays out. Now, for Peter, this had to happen three times, right? This happened multiple times. And three was a significant number for Peter. Um, and for those of you who are Bible students, you know that that's the case. I, like the light went on when it, when it happened the third time. But sometimes God does things multiple times to get our attention. And when you see those patterns beginning to lay out before you, recognize that it may be God who is seeking to speak to you. What's the, what is the last thing that God laid on your heart or the guidance and the direction that he gave or that special word that he spoke to you? Um, if, you know, he gave you that and you never followed up on it, I want to encourage you to be obedient to the last thing that he spoke to you. If it's been some time, you really can't answer that question because you know you haven't really had that type of close communication with God. Spend some time in prayer as we wrap this up and anticipate that God's going to speak something special to your heart. God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you for listening today. We are excited to ask our faithful listeners to pray for an event we are holding in Tijuana, Mexico on November 11th and 12th. The first day, we will have people from all over the city come, people who are impoverished, sick, and suffering, to provide free medical services of all kinds in prayer for supernatural healing. And the next day, as they gather in the soccer stadium, that as they hear the message of the gospel, their lives will be radically transformed. If you feel led to join us and be a part of this event with your financial support, $10 will sponsor one person to attend the entire free event. Our hope and prayer is to fill the stadium with 30,000 people. Please pray about how many people the Lord will have you sponsor. Your gift has the potential of transforming their lives into eternity. Please follow the links in the episode description to give and to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider.